Hello friends, so welcome back to my channel Mukesh English and this is Mukesh Soni. Friends, in this video, we are going to have the discussion of the important questions from the very famous poem titled The Worm, which is composed by the famous writer, famous poet, Nesim Ezekiel. So this poem is prescribed for the second semester BA, generic English, NEP syllabus under Bangalore University and Bangalore North University. So now let's begin the discussion of the important question. Very first, we shall have the discussion of the two marks questions, which you need to answer in one word or, or one of the two sentences. So very first question, what makes the worm, what makes the worm move towards the drier place? An inner eye. An inner eye gives a strength to the worm to move towards the drier place. Then how is it possible for the worm to move straight? By crawling with astounding strength. The, the worm crawls with, with his, his own strength and it moves towards the straight, uh, straight. Which route did the poet follow to reach his destination? The poet has followed the route, absurd and devious route. Then in what way can the poet emulate the worm's directness? Only in anger. He, he can emulate the poem, the worm's directness only in the anger. What does the poet's action depict? The poem ends on a note of irony as the speakers attempt to emulate the worm's directness through anger only leads to regret and further contemplation of their actions. So it ends, it, it, uh, it depicts the poet's regret or in the contemplation of the action. Then now the next questions you have here, which you need to answer in a paragraph. And this question, these questions are for five marks. Question number one, how did the worm reach its destination? Or why did the poet crush the worm? Or how did the poet justify his action? So I have tried to give a capsule answer, which will be a very fitting answer, suitable answer for all, the, all these three questions. So the answer begins like this. The poem titled The Worm is composed by Nesim Ezekiel, an Indian English poet, dramatist, editor, as well as an art critic. The poem opens with a speaker seeing a worm crawling after rain with astounding strength directed by an inner eye towards a drier place. The worm's straight route make the speaker jealous, realize how different he is from it. He can only use absurd, devious routes to reach his destination. Is there anywhere a worm blinder than he? While the speaker realizes that he is a worm who pretends that he is not one and ventures to advise others on the ways and means of succeeding. Later, the speaker kills the worm and stops its easy mocking victories. The speaker asks the, asks the worm's strength after death. Further, he mentions that the creator, the God who has created the worm, is aware of the cunning intricacies and the anger of a man. The speaker accepts that he can emulate the worm's directness only in anger and hence he has killed the worm. The speaker comes to the conclusion that he is the most he is most like the worm through his anger. He ends the poem with a repetition of his action, saying, "I have killed the worm." So this is how he justifies his action. Question number two: What does the worm prove by its movement? In the poem, the worm Nesim Eskil, the speaker says that the worm is moving with astounding strength. Although the worm is blind, but its inner eye is guiding it to move where it wants to go. It also means that the nature has its own strength and makes its creature to take the right decision. Later, it reaches to a drier place, whereas the poet thinks he takes absurd and devious route to reach his destination and the worm applies his inner strength to face the difficult time. Now we have an extra question, which I feel that this is the most important question. Write a note on Ezekiel's attitude towards nature in the poem, The Worm. So, uh, but Nizim, 
Animism as skill does not seem to have much appreciation for the object of nature because usually he shows men and the objects of nature causing harm to each other. And the objects and the objects of nature come in his poems to inflict pain on men or to be inflicted pain on by men. In the poem Worm to Here, there is a conflict between nature and man, and here the man kills the worm and reports the fact in the words, saying, he says, Then bitterness I crush the worm, sadly determined not to honor more. It's easy mocking victory, so now it's dead. Pretty worm, where is your strength? The God who made you to be wiser than the cunning uh, subtleties within my brain shall know by this the anger of a man. Only in anger can I emulate the worm's directness. I have killed the worm. So this is the uh, attitude of SQ towards nature. Uh, portrayed in this poem, The Worm. So friends, this is how I try to solve the questions answers from the poem, The Worm. If you have liked this video, sh share it, subscribe it, like it, write in the comment box. If you have any questions, you can reach me at mukeshenglish.gmail.com. Thank you so much. Stay in tune with Mukesh English. Thank you once again.